dear students uh, continuing with our lecture series on oxidation reactions today in this lecture we will see that how molecular oxygen in combination with other uh, reagents is effective in oxidation of different types of uh, organic compounds uh, as you know uh, oxygen is the most abundant element on earth's crust and uh, oxygen itself in combination with different types of uh, reagents uh, can oxidize various types of functions and uh, a large number of catalysts they uh, are used to activate oxygen uh, for the oxidation of different functional groups and most common among these uh, reagents uh, they are based on either palladium, ruthenium, cobalt, copper, osmium, gold, nickel, iron and even photo oxidation in presence of oxygen can also take place. So uh, we will discuss these uh, type of reactions uh, one by one where uh, oxygen, molecular oxygen along with uh, the reagent is used for uh, different types of functional group transformations. Uh, first is uh, palladium catalyzed reactions. Uh, palladium in combination with uh, molecular oxygen uh, gives us a very important oxidation reaction which is called as Wecker oxidation. So in Wecker oxidation alkenes uh, they are oxidized to aldehydes or ketones and this is one of the most industrial processes uh, wherein uh, we synthesize carbonyl compounds from alkenes. So here uh, palladium chloride in combination with uh, CuCl2, uh, cuprous 2, uh, cupric chloride and molecular oxygen in water is used for transformation of alkenes into aldehydes or ketones depending upon this R. So if uh, this is H we will get aldehyde, if this is alkyl we will get ketone as the product. So here in these reactions this uh, copper 2 uh, is used uh, to uh, regenerate the catalyst because when uh, palladium chloride uh, oxidizes this alkene to carbonyl compound uh, it changes from uh, oxidation state 2 to oxidation state 0 and this cuprous chloride will regenerate this uh, palladium 0 into palladium 2 and uh, the catalyst will be regenerated so combination of these two in presence of molecular oxygen and uh, will be used as a catalyst for Becker oxidation and uh, here the oc molecular oxygen is uh, incorporated uh, in the alkene to give us the carbonyl compound. Uh, then uh, other uh, palladium reagents uh, which are effectively used common among those is uh, palladium acetate uh, in combination with the molecular oxygen in presence of sodium bicarbonate this oxidizes uh, primary or secondary alcohols to aldehydes and ketones and uh, uh, these uh, conditions they are most effective for benzylic alcohols this is a benzylic alcohol or allylic alcohols so we can say that benzylic or allylic alcohols they are oxidized to the corresponding carbonyl compounds as the product by oxidation by palladium acetate. So, uh, cinnamyl alcohol is oxidized to uh, cinnamaldehyde. Then uh, other uh, palladium uh, complexes uh, which are electron uh, which are having electron rich, uh, rich ligands like uh, phenanthrolene derivatives uh, they have been uh, very effective for uh, the oxidation of uh, secondary alcohols to the corresponding ketones as the product. And uh, these uh, catalysts are also selective because they do not affect the other functions. For example, in this case, 
ether functional group is also present in the molecule and this group is not affected by the oxidizing agent then uh, this secondary alcohol is also oxidized to uh, the corresponding carbonyl compound when this uh, phenanthrolene based palladium acetate is used as the uh, catalyst in combination with molecular oxygen at 100 degree centigrade now as far as mechanism of these uh, reactions is concerned uh, the when alcohol is reacted with palladium 2 the alcohol is oxidized to the corresponding carbonyl compound with the generation of uh, hydrogen gas and uh, when uh, this is oxidized palladium 2 is reduced to palladium 0 and then molecular oxygen uh, is uh, reacted with the uh, two proton generated and this will be converted into water so this is uh, the oxidation reoxidation of palladium 0 into 2 and 2 into 0 which affects the oxidation of different types of alcohols to carbonyl then uh, palladium acetate uh, in combination with azibenzyl is also effective in presence of molecular oxygen for the epoxidation of alkenes so for example this uh, one methyl cyclohexene can be uh, uh, epoxidated to give us this type of product in presence of uh, palladium acetate azibenzyl and molecular oxygen is incorporated between the carbon carbon double and here uh, aliphatic alkenes uh, they gave us good to moderate yield whereas uh, in case of aromatic alkenes uh, cleavage of the carbon carbon double bond take place and instead of oxidation we will get carbonyl compounds as the product then uh, ruthenium based catalyst in combination with molecular oxygen they are also used for different types of oxidation reactions of alcohols for example ruthenium chloride in combination with molecular oxygen oxidizes uh, the secondary alcohols to the corresponding ketones as the product and then uh, ruthenium chloride uh, triphenyl phosphine reagent in combination with uh, benzoquinone uh, uh, and uh, using uh, trifluorotoluene as the solvent uh, in presence of molecular oxygen converts uh, primary alcohols into aldehydes allylic alcohols into alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds and benzylic alcohols into the corresponding carbonyl compounds so uh, this combination is effective for the oxidation of aliphatic allylic benzylic all types of alcohols to the corresponding carbonyl compounds as the product when uh, this reagent is used in combination with molecular oxygen then uh, Amines uh, can also be uh, oxidized to uh, amines. So, uh, secondary amines, uh, they are oxidized to Schiff's bases or amines as the product when ruthenium acetate chloride is used as a catalyst in combination with molecular oxygen using toluene as the solvent and uh, second type of uh, oxidizing agent based on ruthenium is ruthenium on aluminium oxide in presence of uh, trifluorotoluene and molecular oxygen oxidizes primary amines into nitriles so uh, these are different types of uh, reagents based on ruthenium which um, those can be used for oxidation of different types of amines secondary amines or primary amines secondary amines will give us amines as the product whereas primary amines they will give us nitriles as the 
then uh, cobalt based reagents uh, they uh, can also be used uh, in combination with uh, uh, anhydroxythalamide a combination of anhydroxythalamide and uh, cobalt acetate uh, they oxidize uh, secondary alcohols into the corresponding ketones as the product and uh, in these reactions uh, the catalytic amount of uh, per acid is also required and in the present case metachloro per benzoic acid is used uh, in the catalytic amount for oxidation of uh, these uh, secondary alcohols to the corresponding ketones then uh, cobalt based uh, reagents in combination with molecular oxygen uh, they can also be used for uh, carbon hydrogen bond oxidation in case of alkenes uh, in case of alkenes for example uh, this uh, side chain uh, of uh, toluene methyl group is oxidized to the carboxylic acid when cobalt acetate uh, in combination with anhydroxythalamide is used as the oxidant uh, along with molecular oxygen then uh, alkenes uh, they can also undergo epoxidation in presence of uh, cobalt based catalyst uh, uh, in presence of uh, pyvaldehyde tertiobutyl uh, aldehyde as a co-oxidant so basically what happens is uh, that uh, pyvaldehyde and molecular oxygen uh, they react with each other and uh, this uh, is oxidized to par acid and then uh, oxygen from the par acid is transferred from al uh, from this uh, par acid to the alkene and epoxidation takes place And then uh, uh, copper reagents they can also be used in combination with molecular oxygen uh, to oxidize alcohols to aldehydes and uh, ketones uh, for example uh, cuprous bromide in presence of uh, dimethyl sulfate and uh, this ligand uh, which is uh, dipyridyl base uh, ligand this will oxidize primary alcohols to aldehydes and secondary alcohols to ketones and uh, this catalyze uh, this catalyst can be used uh, many times uh, without uh, loss of activity similarly osmium uh, based uh, reagents uh, they can also be used for oxidation of different types of uh, functional groups uh, for example potassium uh, osmium hydroxide in combination with the di as a bicyclo 222 octane dabco uh, is used uh, in combination with molecular oxygen for uh, the oxidation of cyclooctanol to cyclooctanol and uh, high yield of the product is formed similarly under the same conditions uh, these uh, beta styrene compounds they can be uh, oxidized to uh, diols as the product and uh, reaction is anisho selective in nature similarly uh, nickel and iron based uh, catalyst uh, in combination with uh, molecular oxygen they have also been used for uh, different oxidation reactions for example uh, this bicyclo uh, bicyclic alkene uh, is oxidized by nickel dmp uh, this is the structure of uh, dimethoxy uh, pyridyl group and this in presence of tertiobutyl aldehyde uh, oxidizes this alkene to the epoxide similarly this 
alkene is oxidized to epoxide and uh, in presence of iron based uh, dmp and molecular oxygen and here also uh, in the first instance molecular oxygen oxidizes this aldehyde into par acid and this par acid uh, transfers uh, its oxygen to the carbon carbon double bond to give us the epoxide so mechanism of both these type of reactions is same uh, first the aldehyde uh, which is uh, present in the reaction conditions is oxidized to the par acid which transfers oxygen to the carbon carbon double bond to give us epoxides as the product so these are the references which have been used for preparing this lecture Thank you very much.